Oh, my first impression is I'm in the future now. It's I've, I've suddenly leapt, you know, 100 years into the future. It's got an amazing array of different grips. <laughs> it's going to take a while for me to remember them all. But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to letting my hero arm loose on the world now. <laughs> Wow, that is so, oh, it is a work of art. <laughs> the arm has ended up so much better than I even expected. It just feels so natural. It feels like it's part of me already. I love the fact that it, it looks robotic. You know, usually you can get the look from people when they, they catch a glimpse of my cosmetic arm and this sort of thing, you know, is there something slightly strange about that hand or, uh, you know, is she missing an arm, isn't she? With this, you really, there's no mistake, you know, it is a prosthetic arm and it's one that I'm going to be really, really proud of and I'm going to be showing off to everybody. It's going to be great for opening up that conversation. So rather than people saying to me, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, what happened to you? That must have been awful. To them saying, wow, <laughs> I want one of those. <laughs> How do I get one? I think it's amazing to have achieved this through crowdfunding, especially during the pandemic. It just shows that people can really open themselves up to helping someone like me which I was completely unprepared for. Um, and also the Worshipful Company of Glovers and the Douglas Barder Foundation have been so amazing in donating the rest of the funds so that I could actually get this arm. Already, you know, I can feel just from this morning, my confidence has just suddenly gone up another level. You know, I think normally I'm quite a confident person but I don't realise how much wearing my old arm brings me down. And wearing this already, it's, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm going to be walking that little bit taller. <laughs>